too bad this morning. 18 degrees. Of course, there's wind blowing because there's always wind blowing. Got some parts here. Even got my name on them. We'll get these cracked open. We'll get them put on there. We're going to run a little fuel out in this bulb to begin with. Kind of see what it looks like. I just, the only thing I can figure is that thing was low on fuel before I fueled it up into the day Sunday. And that we just got some stuff out of the bottom of the tank in there because, I mean, she was dry. Because I, as I stated in yesterday's video, for some people that don't watch or listen or pay attention to the videos before they comment, uh, we treat all of our fuel. I treat it with Howes Diesel. That's Howes, H-O-W-E-S. I've had good luck with it. I've used some other treatment in the past, but uh, I've got an uncle who's big in construction. He runs a backhoe, and he's always had good luck with the house, so that's just what I've always ran. So we'll get this put on here, fire her up, let her warm up, then uh, we're going to start laying some logs out. And the guys are going to go down through there and kind of fish out what's left on this side. Then Mikey's going to... Like he's going to ford the creek. Fuel's good. We're not seeing any, any kind of dirty or contaminated fuel that's coming through there now. My guess is that it's just from the bottom of the tank before I fueled up there at the end of the day, Sunday night. Whatever's in the bottom of the tank got sucked up there, that's where it was. And where she stopped. This thing looks good. Turn like a kitten. This uh, Craftsman filter wrench I bought here a month or so ago that sure makes taking that thing on and off a lot easier. And the whole reason I bought this was because when I replaced that filter here about a month ago, I doubt that filter even had 10 hours on the old filter. That thing was such a bear cat to get off. I uh, ordered this filter wrench just for that reason. Get in there. Mikey's on his way. I'm gonna let this warm up and we're gonna start sorting logs. We've got just about everything bucked up except for those last few that come out yesterday. So I think maybe we did buck those up. I don't remember. Regardless, I've got my saw on and we'll uh, we'll get these laid out and have them ready to go. Hopefully today will be a little better day than yesterday. Let's get all these rowed up over here. Three pretty good piles. We're going to park this skid steer right here. And we're going to go grab a couple more here. The last two we got to cut. We got to ford the creek to get them. Or Mike will anyway. That's why we pay him the big bucks. Let's see if I can get out of this thing. Good logs. This is better logs this week than it was last week on this job. Good set, bigger pile, bigger logs, cleaner, better quality. Good stuff this week. Good stuff. I'm waiting to see him fall. Feeding him cable. Wait and see him fall. Pretty good trees. Now the land across the way belongs to our client's aunt. And we've actually got some timber on him to cut over there. Just uh, not right here in the way the property line goes. It zigzags across the creek. They're getting hooked up. I'm gonna jump up here on the skitter. Get ready to pull this across. Here she goes. It's not a very good job of filming because I can't really get in a good position to film. Now 
Now we've got two extra chokers on the main line here we're using to get extra length. So right now Michael's going to unhook those and we'll uh, hook back into our regular chokers on the main line here. If I get there. You can kind of see him through there or not. Gonna hook to that top log over there and get it at the same time that way we can be done with that tree. Teamwork makes the dream work. There we go, we're about ready to roll with it. Don't want to, don't want to leave anything behind. Want to salvage everything we can out of every tree we cut. Sometimes it takes a while to get a few of them, but we're not leaving nothing behind. Oh, things are about to get good. Things are about to get good. Come on, man. Us. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Faster. Oh, man, he made it. He made it. It's a pretty good tree there, too. Bring it right through here. Less friction coming up out of the bank. Right up on over the top. All right. We're gonna snake down in here and get the last two of the day. And that'll be all we'll cut on this job for this week. We'll get these out. We're gonna head to Flat City. We're going to cut up there for the next couple days on that job. A lot of good young timber in here. It's real promising for the future. good one right up there, a real tall one. We'll hang back and wait till it comes down and we'll hook them both up. And why on earth I didn't cut those? I was cutting right over there and we just noticed them today. What's that? That would be an ash. <laughs> yeah, why on earth I didn't cut these the other day when I was just right out there cutting? Two really good ones right here. Luckily we've seen the day that way we didn't miss them. It's kind of down here on this little peninsula. The property line lays funny as we were stating earlier because the creek zigs and zags back through here. So actually the very, very maybe 20 feet of that peninsula over there, 20 or 30 is actually on the neighbor, which would be the flying stand. So it, uh, it just it lays funny. You see how the creek snakes along all up and down through here. I 
Mikey's getting down there where the action is. I don't know where his orange vest is. He's supposed to be yelling, wearing his uh, orange or yellow, his fluorescent vest. I, we like it when he wears it, that way we can kind of keep an eye on him. these few over here to the other deck, the first deck we did last week. It made a lot more sense to bring them here and then all the way back over there on the other hillside. Shorter drag, save fuel, save time. Pretty good bunch of logs. Pretty good bunch of logs. bunch definitely worth getting definitely worth getting tall trees that one's got a good sap line on it really as big as it is we had to cut about three feet off that one it was bad in the bud good trees good trees well tomorrow we'll be in Platte City knocking down walnut be on the 299 up there be just as cold up there as it is here, if not colder. North of the river. Hey guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.